Phantom Power. Check, check. Check. That was it. That was it. That there didn't need go. to be on. All right, we're back. Yeah, yeah. We are back. So, yeah, thank you. Um, it is not as ugly as I wanted it to be. I mean, it's still pretty, like, I wouldn't walk walk around the mall with this. Yeah, people would get it. Yeah, yeah. on purpose. But I had another one with a uh, a gingerbread guy that was, like, getting cracked in. I think <laughs> he was getting killed or something. It was Christmassy off. and Dark. ugly. And, yeah, but... It's uh, ugly sweaters are big this year. Yeah, they've blown up, huh? Yeah, and you said that one's. This is a, this is a Snoopy cardigan. This is from two thousand and eight, off of eBay. That's before that this was is the, way before the craze. Yeah, before the Instagram. We're at an ugly Christmas yeah. sweater party. I should have been the guy who s- decided to find all the cr- bad Christmas sweaters and. You know, start the website. Start collecting them from the Salvation Army. And yeah, I should have been that guy. Um, but unfortunately, like many things, I've, you know, had a good idea but never really followed through on it. But so, yeah, so I, I was I was early in on this, and I've worn this every holiday season since. Um, nice vintage, high quality, yeah, real buttons. Together. Yeah, silver, they're still gold, somewhat gold. So yeah. kids get a kick out of it. So how many uh, parties have you worn this at yet? Um, so far? I mean, we don't go to parties as much anymore. No. But <laughs> originally, you know, we, we had them, you know, I'd wear them whenever I could to whatever Christmas yeah. event it was. Um, you know, I always felt pretty comfortable in it, so. Yeah. I, I was planning on wearing the other one, but. I, the one with the polar bear. Yeah. yeah I like them. I like them. It's good. And when when we first, me and my wife first moved in together, we had like a few christmas parties and my friends like came with some really good ones like ones that looked like they were on purpose yeah. like supposed to be like someone thought it was a good idea yeah yeah, yeah. but w- <laughs> they all got them from the salvation army but i just can't do that and it drives my wife nuts <laughs> that like she'll be like at halloween or something like let's go to the salvation army and look for like parts for a costume yeah. i can't walk in there or like a savers or anything just because it's secondhand clothes like what people yeah okay someone could have died in it or worse yeah that's true they could have lived in it i don't definitely (laughs) think of that but yeah i mean you know why i guess i probably have put faith in those uh establishments that they're taking care of you know yeah the bad stuff is probably going in the in the trash but I always had faith in establishments, too, until, like, when I was younger and I thought, like, oh, well, adults are responsible. And then once I became an adult, I was like, I don't trust other adults. I don't trust me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, Yeah, it could easily just be thrown in the good bin. So around around, um, Halloween, you said that Toronto had some epic Halloween parties. Yeah. Was there any epic uh, Christmas parties in the NHL? Uh, so, no, not so much. A lot Because a lot of times it, it gets really busy for everyone at the holidays, obviously. Yeah. Um, lots of people coming into town. You're still playing games up to the day before, essentially. And the That's day true. After. You only get a couple days. Um, but that being said, we did have, um, here in Boston, we started the 2-3 party. It seemed like. Because every year we basically every year we played at home on the twenty third, and then we had a two three party. So the single guys mostly um, would go out in Boston that night, and that was that was a big event. Just because we were we were single, there was probably ten of us, and um, everyone else had family and things like that. Like everyone was gone. So, yeah. So we had the two three party um, usually at the place. Do you remember the place downtown? Mm-hmm. All right, that was an old. old I mean, it's old now, but it was new at the time. Um, Still there? No. Oh. It's the, I mean, the place is the, the, the building is, but it's, so yeah, it's just outside of Faneuil Hall. People will know the place. Um, and then after I left Boston, I would go home right after the games. Like I was in Toronto, so I went right back to Belleville for the, you know, that was kind of nice to be able to do family. And then after that everyone came to us and yeah you know, i'd be right home and hanging out with the family for the the three days that we had off so um 
no epic parties other than the, the two three for the first couple of years was was pretty good, but it was just like a singles night out. What does the two three mean? Just because it was the oh, because it was always the twenty third day. Oh, okay. Everyone always finishes on the twenty third in the end. Yeah, almost everybody. Oh, all right. Um, so it was the two three. So there was ten of you. Was there? I feel like every group of friends there's that that one. It's usually me and my group of friends, the one that gets lost or like you can <laughs> you go out drinking, then it's yeah. where's Josh? Gotcha. Like where? <laughs> and I'm always like, where did everyone go? Irish exit or what, like not on purpose. <laughs> no, like I look down at my phone for a second. I look up. Everyone's gone. Oh, There's okay. always the straggler. Gotcha. No, we There's didn't never. Move around, no, we never moved around too much. I mean, guys certainly disappeared, but I wouldn't <laughs> have been. Uh, in it was disappearing be, on in, purpose. In any place keeping track of anyone. Yeah. You know, by any means, I could have been the one. You guys don't move there. around. That's. Um, wish I hung out with you guys. Stick to one spot. That's how I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No point in moving around. That's uh, especially on the twenty third in Boston. It's cold. Yeah, you know, the air hurts your face. That's right. yeah. I'm always shocked that, like, way back, like when the Pilgrims came here, or like Vikings, or whoever came here first uh-huh. i gotta read a history book on the very beginning sure <laughs> but why they didn't keep moving like once winter hit wouldn't you be like oh no we're not staying here let's keep going like <laughs> yeah let's get south uh, maybe they didn't know south and also i th- maybe i i mean for the vikings being in sweden in the winter it's probably it was warmer here than that's what true they were used to coming off the boat in norway or Nor- north pole or wherever but still, I, I'm just I, like that's just a random thought. I don't know. I, I feel yes, like they knew self. <laughs> I, I think about that all the time, even now. Like, why why not just get on a why not go south? Like, why deal with winter? Yeah, we I don't know. We deal with it. This yeah, is where all my friends and family are. Yes, that's <laughs> yes, New Englanders. <laughs> but the I just had a thought. Now it's gone. Dead space on the radio slash podcast. Yeah, never great. No, but I wasn't gonna jump in. Oh, I, I thought you were deep. I I was, yeah. and I was like, "Here it comes," and then I was like, "Nope, it's gone." You got <laughs> we, we, yeah, you got distracted with the Vikings. Yeah, it's been happening a lot to me this week. <laughs> it's <laughs> holiday season. I love when that happens to me on like live radio, and I'm like in the middle of a sentence, and I just stop, and I'm like, "Nope, yeah, <laughs> I'm done." I guess we just stop right there. Yeah, <laughs> I've learned about dead dead space on from from Dale and and Billy, you know. Get in like, and get out. Get yeah. in and get out. So in like I, one I second turns into like, I'm afraid of silence yeah. now, where yeah, it's yeah. like a second is like, that was too long. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I, going. Someone, I hate someone's it. Someone's going to jump in on you too. Yeah. To save it. Especially on the show that... Although I wasn't jumping in. So oh, well, go ahead. Yeah. Please <laughs> jump in. <laughs> My brain is so fried this week. But yeah, so Christmas is coming up. We're going to be off next week yes and probably this is our last one of the year last one of the year that's right we've, 2018 we've been uh, is in the rear view we've been when did we start doing this august september uh, september yeah so we've probably done 12 13 14 15. yeah i think we're in the mid-teens yeah, there we go the podcast is almost up to uh old enough to drink hey so that's <laughs> there we go then it really gets interesting and then you got plans for when we're off, you're going up to Canada, right? I am, yep. We're going up uh, Boxing Day, which is the 26th for English Americans. Um, Boxing Day is still a, a Commonwealth Canadian thing. Uh, so we're going up the 26th. I'll be up there for like six, seven days, see family, see some friends. Hopefully, we're going to go up to Ottawa, skate on the canal and do that, which will be kind of cool. Skate on the canal. Yeah, Ottawa is the canal. They've made, you know, the Rideau Canal, obviously the Rideau River, St. Lawrence River. So um, they have, it's it freezes over and people basically, you know, people skate to work. You know, it's like public transportation. That's so amazing. As long as it's cold enough, um, that will be really cool. They have, you know, hot chocolate and everything all along the, the canal. That's so. what I want. Yeah. I always want, like, there to be, like, a, like, it, it's probably the canal. The, there's, like, videos on Instagram and stuff of people, like, just stick handling and, like, yeah. sprinting yeah. in a straight line. I'm like, <sighs> yeah, that's what, that's what, yeah, that's the plan. Um, and then also, like, you know, even in my, my town, they'll have the, uh, the bay freezes over. So if it, the wet, if it's cold enough and it's, 
not too much snow, which should be right now is like the best time because um, it's super uh, it's super flat, super cool, and the kids can just skate forever. That's awesome. I I need to get a. I've been itching real bad to skate, but it's like this time a year around here booked up at all the rinks. Yeah, yeah. And then you got to kind of wait for it to freeze over here where it's kind of like it melts it freezes yeah. and i forget what the rule is like six inches or something on a pond or yeah i never got... measure so i just wait until i see someone ice fishing that's <laughs> I'm like, right all right yeah. it's safe <laughs> no exactly you're not gonna you're not gonna get the auger out and, and do it yourself you just kind of take the smell test but but yeah th- this time you know it's tough here you know if you wouldn't want to do a pond just because of how warm it gets yeah. during the day but and then Boston doesn't like have like a spot like that in Ottawa where it sounds like it's kind of like a town event yeah. thing. Yeah. But yeah, we have it's... like the frog pond, but you're like shoulder to shoulder with everyone and that's not fun. And also no. you're going to carry your skates through the city. Yeah. Not doing that. Not ideal. And then you got <laughs> the, in, have you ever been to the Enchanted Village? Oh yeah. I, I've seen it. Um, I've been in there, but certainly have never, uh, strapped on the skates for that. Don't you'll snap your ankles. Yeah. I was like, so pumped. I was like synthetic ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically just shiny white plastic. Yeah. And I was like, we're walking right now. Yeah, yeah, you can't, right. you can't glide on it yeah. and definitely an ankle breaker. Yeah. It's dangerous up there. So you flying or driving up to Canada? We'll drive. We'll drive. We'll pack the minivan up um, with God knows what um, Christmas night, and then be ready to rock and roll on the twenty sixth. So um, it's a long road trip, especially with some kiddos. Yeah, yeah, they're good now. They they travel really well, and iPads obviously help. But oh um, yeah, I'm thinking of like road trips when back in the day when yeah, you're like I spy for eight hours. Yeah, that's painful. But no, like our our guys have done the trip a bunch of times, and um. It'll be great. We got a bunch of friends up there, so it'll be uh, it'll be a big party when we get up there as well. So it'll be nice, nice holiday. Nice. Yep. What do you got? We we jump around a lot, yeah. so I'm I'm thinking next Christmas I would like to have kids so that everyone has to come to us. There you go. That's, that's <laughs> I feel like that's we're gonna be doing this until we have kids, and we're like, you know what? If you want to see your grandkids, come to us. <laughs> but we go to. My grandfather's house, which is my side of the family, they do like Christmas Eve, and he lives um, in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And then we go from there, Christmas Eve night, to Laura's parents' house, and they have a Christmas Eve thing. We sleep over there, wake up early in the morning, go to my parents' house for Christmas Day, and we stay there until... I think I have a few things on the 26th that I'm trying to cancel okay. so that I can just stay yeah, yeah, and just sleep. I just sleep. I just, I hated, I still hate obviously, but doing stuff the day after Christmas, I feel like Christmas, you just want to like for five days, you got to just like, yeah, like recover from all the craziness and go back in like playing youth hockey. That's always when the Christmas tournament would start was oh, the twenty yeah. sixth. And I'm like, I don't want to go into a cold rink the yeah. day like I'm sitting here like in a warm living room looking th- through all my toys. Yeah. And now I gotta go get hurt. <laughs> yeah, we went uh we would always we always had the the Christmas week. So twenty sixth we were at, we were in Toronto religiously probably ten years straight. Um, you know, pack up. It was I mean, for me, you know, I was pumped, but looking back my sister took it on the chin for sure because she would much rather stay at home and played with her toys rather than yeah. go to some random hotel motel place that had no fun and her sitting in a cold rink you know not watching hockey because she was annoyed but um, so she had to go oh yeah she had to go yeah everyone it was a family uh it was a family outing so um fortunately she still talks to me <laughs> <laughs> my my sister was done with rinks like because by the time i was done playing my younger brother started playing and then so yeah, she got both of us stretch, and yeah. i think my parents stopped forcing her like she was kind of young but she was like old enough to stay home alone yeah. but 
She uh, she hasn't been in a hockey rink in a while, and she's the only one in the family that can't stand hockey. So. <laughs> can't blame her. Can't blame her. So, but uh, yeah. So what 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 are you hoping to get for Christmas? We're no, it's like it's it's over with the kids. It's uh, <laughs> you know, it's it is complete. I mean, it's always always yeah about them, but this this holiday especially is uh. I mean, we, you, you know, my wife and I have kind of lost track what we're getting each other. It's just a matter of, okay, we got to get the kids out to get you something. What do you yeah. need? Like, becomes more of that. Than, I haven't even started shopping for my wife. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, no, I'm looking for, uh, I need a new shovel. You know, it's like the practical things. You yeah. Know, like, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily get myself. So, I need a new shovel. So, hopefully, Santa brings me that. Um, I always remember. a new be- barbecue cover. So those are like oh. the two things I'm like. <laughs> it's kind of depressing, but do you barbecue in the winter? Oh yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah. That's what I miss about having like a deck or like because right now we don't have a yard. We do, but it's not. I don't like being out there for longer than ten minutes, yeah. just because it's like the neighbor's driveway is right there, and we also share it with someone else. And got it. They have a lot of dogs, okay. and we have dogs. So there's and a lot of parking. It's just the yard smells oh, okay. a lot, okay. and yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, I need to rent like a tractor and just dig all this up yeah. and import redo. new dirt. Yeah, redo. <laughs> but I I miss grilling so much, especially in the summer. Like, mm. just going outside and we have a brand new grill that we haven't taken out of the box gotcha. yet. But <laughs> yeah, that's that's frustrating. Yeah, the the winter grilling is certainly more necessity slash convenience. It's not, you know, obviously don't go out there and, um, you know, sit beside it and have a beer. Yeah. But it's close enough where I can, you know, last night we throw a few sausage on for the for the kiddos and, you know, do it that way. No tacos right. yesterday? No, tacos Tuesday, <laughs> you're right. The kids haven't asked for tacos. I think they're just so, they're, they're. Focused. Oh, they're focused on where is the elf, you know. My sister's like the greatest aunt ever, and um, she wraps presents for them every single day from the December first, like for the advent calendar, the the first to the twenty fourth. You know, so she's like she's done this for three or four years now with the twins and Mason, and uh, so that's like a big deal every morning. Where's the elf? And then can I open my present from Auntie Jillian? So when did? the elves show up uh, i don't know when the there's elf no thing elves was. when i was a kid no, the elf thing was um i mean it was kind of you know six seven years ago i guess i don't know when we started it was four or five years ago and it's uh it's a pain in the ass <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> It's like every night, you know, I, we, I can't tell you the amount of times we both woke up at three in the morning. Like, where did you move the elf? You in know? a panic. Like, yeah. Can't, can't ruin it. Well, again, I'm not getting up. So you could. Our nine year olds, you know, he's like, oh, you know, he rolls his eyes. But the Declan and Everly are like, you know. Hardcore. And- a, a hardcore and so excited about it. So we really have to, uh, we really have to do a good job with it. So it is a pain in the ass. No question. And then there's like run out of spots and ideas yeah well that's it too like <laughs> you forget you know with the other i put it in the same spot my wife put it in and they're like hey it's like, Jesus. You know, he was tired i wasn't there when she did it and she wasn't here you know like we just cross paths so it's uh, <laughs> they know exactly where every place it's been every single night so. oh man so i got that to look forward to oh yeah so that's... it is fun i mean it's it's hilarious but it's uh just because they are so excited in the morning but it's uh but yeah, it's a pain. So what do you do with the dog when you... Oh, I brought something for your dog. Oh, it's boy. It's way over there. Oh, she'll be excited. I'll go grab it. She's... Uh, so what, what do you mean? Like presents-wise? Like what we get her? Or... Like when you go oh, yeah. She comes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we That's why we drive mostly. Like oh, yeah. Hangs out the whole time. So she... Uh, yeah, she's great. She'll just sit in the back and kind of sleep and brought a christmas sweater for your oh, dog it, that. it goes through the collar so it doesn't fall off that is a wonderful idea she'll love it it's my the kids uh, will love it it's my wife's business okay she makes those sells them now wow there and you go what's the plug on that that's uh that could go over really well at the dog park here in town 
Yeah. yeah. Dolan Dog Design, I think, yeah. is the Triple D. Nah. The <laughs> Wait. Strong enough, I don't know. But, okay, so a Dolan Dog Design. Design. There you or go. Or Dog Design by Dolan. Like Something it. like that. Okay. I know there's three Ds in it. There you go. Working title. But, uh, yeah, the she, like, customizes them, too, okay. and, like, puts their names oh, yeah. on them. And That's a great idea. I grabbed one this morning. I was like, oh, we forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got another one coming. Oh, God. <laughs> perfect. This is perfect. Thank but you. But figured may, maybe. Uh, She'll have it on all week. Awesome. I'll and take a picture when my kids get home. Like how excited, how they, excited are. they are. And Might be a little bit too big, but I just went with the biggest size because yep. I was like, I know she kind of still looks a little bit like a puppy, but. <laughs> yeah, 55 pounds. So this will be good. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, of course. And uh, so, yeah, it it was a good year for us. Um, yeah. <laughs> we good. did. Uh, we had Rick Middleton on yep. when he uh, retired his number. And then we've been doing this every week and our following has been going up. And I, I meant to ask you, did you do Toronto radio again recently or do something uh, in Canada? Um, I no, but I've been like kind of more aggressive on social media just the last little while so shout out ken casey yeah yeah (laughs) kenny Kenny, uh kenny's the best and i'm sure he's getting a huge kick out of that so can't wait till st patty's day um you going i don't know so if like well did did the viewership in toronto take a spike is that what you're yeah we just got like last week we got a bunch of like toronto area okay where i was like yeah. Someone must be, must be doing radio up yeah, there or something. Yeah, so maybe it's just like, yeah, people. I, I did do, yeah, so there were more. I did Toronto radio, and then I did more. Yeah, I did get, I assume, more Instagram people from Toronto while I did that. And then I probably actually posted it properly on Instagram. Yeah. I was still, like, <laughs> having issues with, like, what it looks like and how I should word everything and where I put it. But um, If you need help, just ask. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> It's like when I get it, I really like do it at like 1030 at night. I'm like, oh, you know what? I really need to like. I'm not going to crop this. I'm getting I better though. I'm going <laughs> to got a couple things going on that I really need to do it. So that's it. Um, you got. But yeah. We keep getting more visitors. So, I mean, that's, that's great. We appreciate. Yeah. It keeps building. And next year, um, I think it's the year for the BTI. I think it's going to, we, we got a few things already booked that I know we've been talking to people about yeah and uh we'll be announcing those soon i know that nothing has been like put to paper or anything yet so yeah we'll wait on that and um we'll have a new website for after the first of the year and we'll be able to submit fan questions on there and yeah it'll be fun find out appearances and you're doing Nesson again this week, right? I got one more Nesson game before the end of the year and before I head to Canada. So I'm on there, yeah, Sunday afternoon. So I'm not sure if this will hit, but if you did, what's the date, Sunday? 23rd. The two, two three. three. There's a two, the two three neighborhood party, too. So <laughs> heading straight there after. Do they still do the two three party in Boston? Do you know? I doubt it. I Gotta doubt bring it. it back. I think guys, guys can, uh, guys get more time now so they can get out of town a little easier. I think they get till, you know, that extra day. I don't think anyone with the new CBA. I don't think anyone has to be back till the twenty sixth. Oh, okay. Rather than playing the twenty sixth. And also, don't they have a a freeze now too, where it's like yeah. a trading deadline? Yeah, yeah. So they get that used to be like a day, and now it's yeah seven eight days, like all the way through. The so whole everyone day. gets to relax and. Yeah, I mean, everyone. You know, at least you just don't have to move your stuff. You know, like because if you get tra- you have to be there within a couple hours. You know, you get traded. That's you insane. Have to, you have to be there that afternoon or the next morning. So. It's just kind of nice that guys don't have to deal with that moving stuff. Yeah. Getting sent down. I'm sure no matter what time of year it is, it must be. Yeah, it's not ideal. And you're not really worried about it, you know? You're not like, oh, my God, a Christmas day. Like, are they going to trade me? Because a lot of times guys didn't do that just out of respect. But Yeah. um, Not so guys don't want to be on the phone doing paperwork on Christmas either. And it's just nice not to have to, you know, you know that, uh, you know, there's just no, there's no random phone calls. Yeah. Like that that was crazy when they traded Joe Thornton and they like pulled Marco Sturm and Wayne Primo and 
Brad Stewart yeah. off the ice during warmups and yeah. like you need to get to Boston now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're basically on the, the the red eye out there. So so yeah, that's the way it works. It's quick, quick turnaround. And I don't even like filling in out for shifts at the station when like hey can you do this next week i'm like yeah. i need more notice Whoa. i get <laughs> schedule let me look at my let schedule. me wrap my head around this yeah, yeah, i'm not yeah. <laughs> drive 40 <laughs> minutes next week <laughs> get on a plane now that's yeah. insane but yeah it's been a good year and this is it until 2019 which is weird to say it's crazy it's getting there it is 2020 there. is gonna be bananas that's gonna be a big one for me i never thought 2020 you know like that. it doesn't sound like a year no it doesn't like i was born in the 90s 1991 you were born 80s 80 80 80 yes 80 11 years on me huh yeah oh there you go <laughs> now i'm old <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it's gonna be weird we're gonna live through the 20s yep Almost when you hear right. the 20s you think the 1920s. Yeah. I know. The raging 20s. <laughs> Prohibition. Um, right. So it's been fun. And we'll be back in January with episode whatever we're on. Mm -hmm. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have fun going to Happy Canada. Holidays. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the crew here in New England. Oh, I will. Can't wait. I'm just going to try. Happy New Year, too, because I won't see Oh, yeah, too. that's true. Enjoy the Enjoy the ball drop. I will. I missed it last year and probably going to miss oh, it again this year. Again this year. Yep. I'm, I'm done being hung over. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> so fun. Bad way to start the year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, we'll see you next year. Yep.